Only on two tonight, a capital murder suspect is accused of preying on gay men, and investigators say he finds his targets on a gay dating app. Our senior reporter, Phil Archer, is live with that story tonight. And Phil, investigators say Benjamin Davis went from robbery to murder over the weekend. Yeah, they say that he signed on to that uh, on that dating app looking for people who were looking for love so he could rob them. But his very first meeting allegedly ended with murder. Benjamin Davis has a history of violence. He served two years in prison for choking a family member in 2018. Then back on the street and looking for money, he allegedly opened an account on Grindr, the gay dating app, to target victims for robbery. He learned from, from other individuals, people that we don't know, that it's pretty easy to get into people's homes on this this app. Davis told investigators he arranged to meet a man he met on Grinder, identified as Victor Najira Betanzos, at Betanzos West Side apartment, ostensibly to have sex, but the real motive was robbery. Once inside, Davis allegedly turned on Betanzos, knocking him unconscious and then killing him as described by a prosecutor shortly after Davis's arrest. The defendant stated he removed a scarf wrapped it around the complainant's neck, stated that he made an X on the back of the complainant's neck, pulled up, strangling the complainant. Davis then allegedly poured bleach on the body in an effort to destroy evidence and drove off in the dead man's truck after taking his iPhone and iPad. Police spotted Davis in the stolen truck and arrested him Saturday. The level of violence that was used in this particular case really stands out. Uncommon violence, but not an uncommon crime. Social media apps make it easy for criminals to target victims. Caution is the best defense. You really look at people before you allow them to come into your homes, before you allow them to give you an address, then you go and meet them. At this point, investigators say they haven't found any other victims. Davis is charged with capital murder. He's currently being held on half a million dollars bond. Reporting live downtown, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC 2 News.